Hello kids! I hope you have all watched the first video for this lesson, more about force, energy and simple machines. We learned all about force in that video. In this video, you are going to learn more about energy. You will be learning about the definition of energy, the forms of energy, the transformation of energy from one form to another and about renewable and non-renewable energy sources. So let's get started. We can define energy as the ability to do work. Energy is all around us and it is stored in many forms. Like for example, energy is stored in a battery which we use to run different devices or energy is stored within our cells which helps us to do our work every day, isn't it? So when you're low on energy, what would you do? You would eat something, isn't it? Energy therefore exists in many forms and can change from one form to another and this is exactly what we use when we use electrical energy to run different devices. So we could define energy as the ability to cause a change in matter, movement or a change in position. The law of conservation of energy says that energy can never be made or destroyed but it can change forms. Do you understand what this means? It means that energy is always changing from one form to another. Take for example the racing car. It is moving so it has energy. But from where does this energy come? It can't just move, right? The race car's engine changes the energy stored in the fuel into movement. Therefore the car moves or changes its position because one form of energy, that the chemical energy which is stored in the fuel, is converted into the energy required for the movement of the car. Now let's learn the names of these different forms of energy. Different forms of energy are chemical energy, like the energy stored in fuel that we just saw. Chemical energy, which is otherwise also called as heat energy. Mechanical energy, which is the energy because of position or because of movement which is what we use when we use wind energy or hydro water energy to convert it into electricity and what is electricity it is electrical energy we also have solar light or luminous energy which are all different forms of light energy solar energy comes from the sun light or luminous energy can be energy that we get from candles or bulbs different forms of energy that we will be learning about are mechanical energy and the forms of mechanical energy which are kinetic and potential energy electrical energy heat energy light or luminous energy wind energy solar energy and hydro energy now all forms of energy actually can come under two types of energy that is either kinetic energy or potential energy. Now what is kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is the energy possessed by a moving object. When a moving car comes and crashes into another car, what happens is that all the energy that was possessed by the car because of its motion or because of the speed with which it was moving is now transferred to the other car to which it has crashed. So it is actually a transformation of the kinetic energy of the moving car. Now what do we mean by potential energy? Before a ball is being thrown and when it is held at a height, there was always the gravitational pull of the earth on that ball. And this actually causes the ball to store a kind of energy which is called as a potential energy. This is the reason why an object which is close to the earth, this is the reason why you do not get hurt when you jump to the ground from smaller heights, but you can easily break a bone or two if you jump from a much greater height because then your body is possessing much more potential energy, which is because of its position. Examples of kinetic energy can include any type of energy that is caused due to motion. For example, light energy is because of the motion of light waves. Sound energy is because of the movement of sound waves. 
electrical energy is because of the movement of electrical charges mechanical energy is because of the motion of different parts of a machine and thermal energy is because of the motion of the tiny particles that an object is made up of potential energy is the energy stored in an object examples of potential energy are when objects are held far away from the ground and this potential energy arises because of gravitational pull a, a magnetic object also possesses potential energy that is it has a potential to attract or repel anything else that is magnetic fuel such as petrol diesel or natural gas also store potential energy what is transformed and then used by us for various activities now let us have a deeper understanding of mechanical energy to understand mechanical energy we must learn the two types of energy that is kinetic energy and potential energy kinetic energy as we saw is the energy of motion if something is moving it has kinetic energy the faster an object moves moving the more kinetic energy it has therefore a moving airplane would have more kinetic energy than a girl than a child riding a bicycle potential energy is the energy of an object because of its condition or position for example an object which is far away from the ground would have more potential energy as opposed to an object which is on the ground now remember that an object can have both potential and kinetic energy at the same time look at this roller coaster now as the coaster moves up to the top of the hill it gains potential energy the higher the car rises the more potential energy it has so when it reaches the top of the hill it will have maximum potential energy and zero kinetic energy because you have seen how the car stops moving at the top of the hill for a few seconds as it falls the potential energy that is stored in the car is converted into kinetic energy and the potential energy keeps on reducing as the car moves to the bottom of the hill and the kinetic energy keeps on increasing so this is how energy transformations happen around us all the time Ener mechanical energy therefore is a combination of all potential and kinetic energy that things have and it is the energy that we use every day to physically move things and to do our daily work a wind up toy which has a key which can be turned to wind up a spring is another example of how potential energy that is stored in the spring because of the compression of the spring is then used to generate kinetic energy which is used for the movement of the toy later on now let's look at electrical energy electrical energy arises because of the movement of electrical charges we saw that the electrostatic force is a force that is generated because of the collection of electrical charges which do not move but when these charges move it converts into electrical energy the energy we use when we switch on a bulb or a fan or any other electrical appliance electrical energy requires a circuit made of electric wires plugs sockets and switches to actually work if you compare between the two figures you can see that the second circuit is not complete because the wire is not attached to the device it, therefore when we say a circuit we mean that the wires must go in a full loop from the power source and back again circuits that are not complete will not work now let's learn about heat or thermal energy thermal energy is actually the energy that is possessed by an object because of the motion or the movement of its molecules remember how you learned that states of matter can change from solid to liquid and liquid to gas because of the increasing motion of molecules and we learned that these molecules gain the energy when we provide it heat this is called as heat energy or thermal energy so you could say that the 
heat energy is a total of all kinetic and potential energy of the molecules in an object and when it increases then the molecules of the object can become free and change from say the solid state to liquid state or from liquid to gas the sources of heat energy are the sun and the burning of fuels or even electrical appliances such as heater heat energy always flows from warmer objects to cooler objects until both reach the same temperature have you noticed how a hot cup of tea or milk would cool down and then come to the same temperature as the room temperature in a short while this happens because the hot cup of tea is actually losing its heat to its surroundings and it keeps on losing its heat to the surroundings till the temperature of the surrounding as well as a cup of tea becomes the same and this is called as a heat flow now let's learn about light or luminous energy this energy is what allows us to see things this energy is what gives color to the things around us the sources of light can be natural like the sun and the stars or man made such as the bulbs around us a candle or a tube light when we look at an object we are able to see it because it reflects light that falls on it from a light source have you heard of leds leds are light emitting diodes these are a type of light bulbs which are quite expensive as compared to a regular bulb advantage is that they can last for a much longer period of time because very less energy is wasted when we use led rather than the traditional bulbs that as you all know the sun is our ultimate source of light and heat energy and therefore we must consider the solar energy itself as a form of energy our sun is actually the source of all life on earth and the solar energy is useful to us in many ways it is the power of the sun that gives us heat light food and the air that we breathe the sun powers the atmosphere to give us winds and rain even the coal and oil that generate electricity for light and power come from plants and animals that lived hundreds of millions of years ago and were dependent on the sun for life so so practically all sources of energy that we use come from solar energy we can harness solar energy for many activities solar energy can be harnessed for many activities just the way plants harness solar energy for the process of photosynthesis to make food we can use solar energy to create electricity using photovoltaic cells or solar cells to heat water and food you must be familiar with the water heaters solar heaters that are used in many buildings so the solar energy is converted into electricity which is used for heating the water using pv or photovoltaic cells like these many photovoltaic cells make a module many modules together make a panel and many panels together make an array which must be a familiar sight when the sun's light falls on these photovoltaic cells each cell converts the energy into electrical energy which is stored in batteries for later use or used immediately solar cookers are also used in many parts of the world because it is eco friendly and uses the sun's energy to cook food the solar cooker consists of a box with black interior and having a reflector as a lid so the reflect would concentrate all the light rays that fall on it into the interior of the box thus causing the food to heat up and cook without any fire there are other energy forms too such as wind energy and hydro energy wind energy is also a form of solar energy this is because wind is actually moving air and air moves because of the different weather cycles that are powered by the sun wind energy is the process by which the moving air or wind is used to generate electricity this is also called as wind power 
wind turbines or wind mills are used to convert the moving energy of the wind which is otherwise the kinetic energy of the wind into mechanical energy that is found in the rotation of the turbines which converts it into mechanical energy or electricity so the sun's radiant energy or kinetic energy causes pressure differences in the air which causes the air to move and the kinetic energy of the wind is then used to rotate the wind turbine which is again mechanical energy which is of the kinetic form which is of the kinetic type and then that is used to generate electrical energy and that electrical energy is then used to power devices hydro energy is otherwise called as hydroelectric energy and it is a form of energy that harnesses or stores the power of moving water so when we talk about hydro energy we are talking about how we use the potential energy that is stored in the water just before it spills over the top of a dam or flows down a hill so when water is stored in a dam is when water is stored in a dam catchment area like this it is stored at a much higher height and therefore it stores potential energy when the shutters of the dam are opened the potential energy converts into kinetic energy and the moving water turns turbines which are present at the bottom of the dam to create electrical energy in the olden days water mills were used to harness the hydro power or water power water mills are a structure that uses a water wheel a water turbine to drive a mechanical process such as grinding of wheat grain to get wheat flour or rolling or hammering the energy transformation that happens is that the hydro or the kinetic energy of the water is converted into mechanical energy which is used to power the water mill now let's learn about energy sources energy sources can be renewable or non renewable in nature renewable energy sources are sources of energy which last forever and never run out they are non polluting and inexhaustible wind energy may not be the same in all places as as is the case for hydro energy as well as solar energy so renewable energy sources may be different in different locations and during different time periods too but they are the most eco friendly or environment friendly sources of energy they are safe and they are limitless renewable energy sources also include geothermal energy and biomass energy now what is geothermal energy deep under the earth surface the temperature is very high it is very hot heat this natural heat of the earth is harnessed to heat water and the water is converted to steam the steam is used to drive or move turbines which is then used to generate electricity when we talk about biomass biomass is is a way of convert the energy stored in any type of natural materials such as sewage or agricultural crops or residues wet waste from cities and towns animal residues can all be used using biomass digesters to produce electricity now let's learn about non renewable energy sources as the name indicates these sources are limited meaning that they can get used up there is only a certain amount of these resources available on the earth and with extensive use they can get used up and we can run out of them there are four major types of non renewable resources oil natural gas coal and nuclear energy oil natural gas and coal are otherwise called as fossil fuels and fossil fuels as we saw earlier were actually formed within the earth from dead plants and animals and it took over millions of years for this process to happen and therefore if we suddenly use them all up it could take another few millions of years for the process to repeat itself 
Nuclear energy is also a type of non-renewable energy resource because it requires the use of nuclear fuel which is present only in certain quantities on the earth's surface. So let's recap what we have learnt in this video. Work is said to be done when a body moves on applying force. Energy is defined as the ability to do work. Energy exists in different forms that are interconvertible. Energy can be obtained from renewable resources or from non-renewable resources. Renewable energy resources such as solar, wind and hydro energy are limitless, environment friendly and are safer to use. Fossil fuels such as oil, natural gas and coal and nuclear energy are examples of non-renewable energy resources. I leave you here at the end of this video with something to think about. Is just one straw said 8 billion people and that is how we end up with so much of pollution around us.